everyone. It is 840 right now. Welcome back to the program. Lou and Jackie here Good along morning. with the headliner from the Funny Bone. Yep, you recognize Me and him. my Jackie. <laughs> Michael Blackson is here. Two shows tonight at the Funny Bone. That's it. Uh, just mm -hmm. two shows later on tonight. So take advantage of it. He's on tour right now with Martin Lawrence, but he's taking some time out to come over here and entertain the troops here. And I think you're probably the most vibrant star we've ever had on when it comes to comics uh, at the Funny Bone. Right. With, your, with your jacket and uh, the way you look, it's just an awesome look. Yeah, you have to, man. I, you know, I hate to see headliners go on stage with like, a T-shirt on or just some plain shirt. We have to go out there and shine. People are paying a whole lot of money to see you. Yeah. Show them where that money is going. <laughs> I like so we're, we're helping you're you pay for your jacket. Is that huh? what you're saying? Oh, oh yeah. I'm, look you at have, those clothes. Look, are awesome. I spend about 25% of my income on my clothes. <laughs> okay. Now, now look this, at that. You have to again, stand where out. do you find things like this? Is what All I over. Those were imported from Togo. Togo is like way West Africa somewhere. Those jackets were imported from Togo. That belt is Giuseppe. He's, a, he's in <laughs> Italy. That necklace is Versace. He's also in Italy. All my, all my outfits have passports. <laughs> See that? That is Roberto Cavalli. He's also in Italy. Yeah, and you have them all memorized, too. Yes, I know everything from. I wear. They're all my stuff came through customs. No, you no, don't wear nothing no, regular. No, it looks really cool here. Now, I want, you to, I want you to stand up here. I want you to show the back of your jacket, because the back is as cool uh, as the front. Go ahead. Turn around so they can see the, jack, the back of it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the detail on that. That's and then don't forget the shoes, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. There's, that's that's Versace. It's there's, gold. There's there we the go. There's the gold shoes. All right. Now turn around. Show the back of the jacket again. You turn around too fast. There you go. We got it. Wait, hang on just a second. He's, he's zooming in. I, right are now. those some of those Look cultural dances you were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> on your leg up there like that? That was pretty good. I was impressed. That is really cool. <laughs> I was very impressed. <laughs> so, hey, Des Moines ladies, if you're single, you want to join in on my show? Just yeah. Hit me on Instagram. Ba hey, bachelor in Africa. Yes. We're Take you to my village. Yeah. There it is. But, but yeah, you can have a preliminary interview. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, tonight, definitely. Right? Yeah. Make sure I'm not taking no crazy woman over there. So mm -hmm. we gotta, you have a, after the interview, you make sure you are good to go back to my village and make some fufu. <laughs> now, explain what fufu is. We were talking about food, and you said that part of the deal is they have to be able to cook some They have some to learn fufu. Foods. Like, fufu is just one thing you make that kind of goes with almost everything. They have, like, they have different types of stews. You know, we make, my, one of my favorite stew or soup is peanut butter soup. And they sound really crazy. Peanut what is this? Yeah, peanut butter. It makes really? with actual peanut butter. But you, by the time they put the seasonings and everything else in there, you're not going to taste the peanut butter. What's it, what's it like? Is it like a it's piece? Good. <laughs> you see, so fufu is like, fufu kind of looks like mashed potatoes, but you eat it with your hands. You dig it in your hands, and you dip it in a different soup, and you eat it. No or way. Or you could eat the fufu with, like, maybe some okra stew. Okay. You know, right. or some palm butter stew. So the lady's going to learn how to make palm butter stew and just learn how to make the fufu, and I'll teach you the rest. All right. Make it the fufu. I like that. That's you're going to learn how to make fufu. I'm going to teach you how to <laughs> <laughs> so now, when you go travel around into different places, you say you get your clothes from Italy and things like that. Do you ever check out any local places uh, for clothes that might have some, some uh, hidden treasures? Definitely not Des Moines. I don't have nothing here that I want to wear. All my stuff are from Italy. <laughs> so you wouldn't want to get anything from Iowa? I want, like, what, some, some corn outfit? Outfits made out of corn? No. You look good in some Carhartt. You know, <laughs> we'll get you hooked up with something like that. I'm not wearing that jacket. Okay? <laughs> I'm not wearing JCPenney's or Macy's. This is from Italy. All right. <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll swap and we'll see how it fits. That's a good idea. I will swap. Okay. We we'll won't get you shining up. Man. All right. Yeah. Look we're gonna need a little, little bit more, uh, more. We're gonna, we're gonna throw him some luster. Some bling. We're gonna bling his arm up. When I win this nine hundred seventy million dollars, right. everybody's gonna get a Rolex watch. Everybody gets a Rolex watch. You can have a Rolex. You can have a Rolex. You can have a Rolex back there too. You too, Rolex. You over there. So Rolex. how do you? So if you're playing uh, Mega Millions later on tonight, uh, do you have a strategy of how you're picking out your numbers? Let me see. I'm just thinking about them. all my brothers. Did a birth, maybe that might work. Throw those in there. Throw that in but there. But yeah, I think you might have too many, many though. Girl, yes. Well, you have to buy multiple girlfriends tickets. I've had, and how yeah. many? <laughs> I'm gonna just start, you know, I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. You're gonna figure it out. Pick out the numbers. Yes. No rhyme or reason. So when, when you're traveling around, going, mm -hmm. you know, you're traveling, like you said, doing these big shows of ten and fifteen thousand uh, at the arenas, and so you're getting ready for those shows. But when you come to a smaller place like Des Moines, what do you do during the day before you uh, get going? Ah man, I, you know, I go to the gym. I try to work out. I know, I know I don't look like I'm working out, but trust me, I work out with flip-flops. So I, I, don't, I don't like to do it like everybody else doing. These guys are big muscles. No, I just, you know, I get on the, go to the gym occasionally, and I try to, you know, 
go to the locals mall, see if I can find something shiny, which mm -hmm. I've not been lucky finding nothing shiny. In really? The okay. We're not really, well, we're getting to Christmas season, so things will get a little shiny. <laughs> <but yeah. laughs> I'm not wearing a Christmas jacket. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even close to Christmas time. <laughs> not even at Halloween yet. Nah, mm -hmm. so, but um, I try to go and taste the local food. I don't know what's, you know, find out what's good. I try to find all the things about the city that way I have things to talk about on stage. Mm -hmm. Make people feel like I'm connected with them. Yeah, but, you, but you've been here, uh, you know, a couple times. A couple of years, yeah. I have. I come here at least, you know, every year and a half or so. I come down here, and, you know, now, show my love. Now, has anything got popped in Des Moines when it comes food wise to Des Moines uh, in uh, your past nothing. visits? No. Oh, we have to take care of them then, Jackie, with some no, of the local absolutely places. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, we can help you with that. But let's talk about uh, future projects and things yes. you're working on. As you said, you've been on a big tour right now, but there's some other things people can look forward to. Yes, besides the, um, the, the, takes, the show is called It Takes a Village. They want the ladies get to go to Africa. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So I'm, um, I'm in a movie that's coming out. Uh, <laughs> November 2nd, I think, comes out. I did a cameo in this movie with Tiffany Haddish. It's a Tyler Perry movie. It's called Nobody's Fool, something like that. And then um, another movie called The Hunter House. It's actually a sequel to a movie called Meet the Blacks that's on Netflix right now. Which right. Is so it's, it's, it comes out, I think, January or February. It's got me, Cat Williams, Mike Epps, Lil Duval, all your favorite comedians is in this movie. Nice. So uh, look forward to that. Um, let me see what else. And then I'm touring. So just look me up at michaelblackson.com. That's my... That's my website. Okay. My Instagram is Michael Blackson. My Twitter, my Facebook, all Michael Blackson. For those who went to a public school, I'll spell it for you. M-I-C-H-A-E-L-B-L-A-C-K-S-O-N. There you yeah. go. Perfect. No disrespect to public schools. Now, do you ever get any downtime? You know, you mentioned all these different projects that you have and you know, the, the TV stuff that you have going on, the movie stuff you, that are going on. Do you ever have any time to yourself? Oh, yeah, definitely. I try to at least take a two, three days to myself every week and just relax at home with nothing to do. Don't even leave out my place. You know, I just bought a new place recently, and I'm the only one on that floor right now. So hopefully I win this $970 million, I could buy the rest of the penthouse on that floor, and I just talk to myself every day. <laughs> <laughs> but you say you have the whole floor to yourself. How high are you up? How many uh, floors? You know, it goes high as the 15th floor, so I'm on the 15th floor. Okay. Uh, and then, like I said, I'm the first one that bought on that floor. It's a new floor they added to the building, and, you know, the rest of the other five Penthouses are still available, so when I get this nine hundred seventy million dollars, <laughs> you'll own the whole buy floor. the rest of them. You might be able to buy the whole building, you know, for yeah, everything going kick out. Kick everybody there. out. Everybody, get out. This is my it. building. This is my building. Yourself. Yeah, you have a Rolex. You can have a Rolex. Can have a Rolex. <laughs> All right, so we got to make sure you get a ticket because if you don't, you know, you can't win if you don't play. That's right. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm picking one up today. They, okay. said, they said the luck is at the gas station. I'm going to get every gas station. Every gas. <laughs> Watch out for the gold Stop jacket the way in your way. Yeah, could you imagine the look on people's faces when they see you coming in buying a, a <laughs> with this jacket ticket? on? Right. With that jacket. They on. see this jacket and I'm buying all the tickets. In fact, give me all the tickets that's left. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's allowed to buy anymore. Guaranteed to win. <laughs> don't go too far, folks. We're going to be right back. It is 8:48 right now. Again. Uh, Michael is at the Funny Bone tonight only. Two shows. DM uh, Des Moines, I should say, dot funnybone.com, Des Moines dot funnybone.com to get your tickets. Don't dilly or dally because they're going to be gone. This is CWI Live.